Scenes of violence return to the streets of Athens, where police have resorted to tear gas to disperse anti-austerity protesters. Thousands of Greeks voiced their anger over a new round of cuts being demanded by the country's lenders in exchange for another bailout payment. This coincides with a general strike that has seen tens of thousands of people walking off the job for the second time this month. All right, well, joining me now is someone who took part in today's protest, uh, Panagiotis Sotiris from the University of the Aegean. Thank you for coming on the program today. A pleasure to see you. Um, we're just hearing right now reports of a 66-year-old man having died during today's protests. Apparently, he suffered a heart attack. Just uh, how severe is the situation the Greeks continue to find themselves in? Well, we're facing another uh, wave of devastating uh, cuts in wages, social protection, pensions. Uh, we're facing new tax hikes. Uh, we're facing a social disaster in what concerns our living conditions. That, that can explain why today we had such, a, such massive demonstrations in Athens and all over Greece. That's why there was so, so much tension in the streets uh, today. And I think we're going to see much, much more of it. This 13.5 billion euros of cuts have a direct impact on the on everyday lives. It will be less less money for wages, less money for pensions, less money for uh, health coverage, and and people have already reached their their limits. They, they cannot stand it we, anymore. You, you, sorry, very you, you talk about these people. You talk way. about these people reaching their limits. As we all know, protests have become a very common sight in Athens. Do, do, do you think they can bring any change to how the crisis is being handled? Well, uh, this is the, this is the problem that the, the the political the political class currently just ignores all these uh, signs that come from society. And the same goes from the Troika and especially for the, Euro for the representatives of the European Union. But, but they are just building up explosive material for next social explosions. And no policy can hold on simply by being passed through Parliament if it has no legitimacy in society. And I think that in the end, in the end, facing such, a, such an intense social crisis, in the end, they will have to change course. Otherwise, we're just going to see social crisis after social crisis, social explosion after social explosion, and, uh, without the, any, any positive end in sight. When you talk about you know, what's needed is a change in course, uh, certainly there are many that are saying that the politicians or the Eurocrats don't want to see a change of course on their watch. Let's talk about what you mentioned a few minutes ago about how the crisis is affecting so many sectors sectors of society where you are, all the families in Greece being affected. Also, recent unemployment figures show over 50 percent of young people out of work. Yes. How is this generation handling it? Perhaps they should just we're, look abroad. We're, it's, we're having a lost generation. Uh, we have a generation with no future. We have fifth, more than more than 50 percent actual unemployment in US. We have more than 25% official unemployment, it's, it's almost certain that in the next months we're going to reach official unemployment levels of over 30%, perhaps 34%, 35%. These are Weimar Republic kind of levels of unemployment. These are 1930s Great Depression kinds of unemployment. And this is, uh, and especially for youth, they, they take the heaviest blow of all them. That is why we, we're already seeing uh, mass migration of, especially of educated youth, uh, young, young uh, educated, you know, university diploma holders, young researchers, young scientists are leaving the country, are seeking employment uh, elsewhere. So as, as you say, a lost generation, a lost generation, those, those younger people who, who are looking abroad now to take their educations abroad. Ultimately, at the end of the day, of course, that's going to hit the home economy in the worst of ways. Let's talk about briefly, if I may, as we all know, uh, Angela Merkel, the German chancellor, was recently in Greece, uh, greeted by burning Nazi flags and swastikas in Athens. How much anger is directed personally at Angela Merkel, do you think? Well, th there is lots of anger directed against German uh, policies, the, the policies of the, of the German government, and of course to Angela Merkel as the prime minister, uh, and that that is that that causes also all this source of anger, all these uh, analogies with uh, the German occupation. That is not to say that you know, the, the, of course, today's Germany is a very different country, but people in Greece feel 
that they are receiving, receiving a very aggressive policy from the part of, of Germany, from the part of German government, and that can explain the anger and what you can see in the streets. All right, Panagiotis Sotiris from the University of the Aegean, thank you for coming on RT today, a pleasure.